find the surety substantial and therefore release the accused person or the applicant on the following grounds. Father, the accused person has a right to liberty under the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda, 1995. The applicant has only a right to apply for bail and not a right to bail. And court does reserve the discretion to grant or to deny bail. An applicant to bail once released on bail does not mean that the case has ended, but rather he has got partial liberty to attend court as and when he or she is required by court while commuting from home. <coughs> Prosecution in, in its submissions pointed out that the sureties and the applicant do reside outside the court's jurisdiction. However, this is a cosmopolitan where most residents where most residents are only employees within the cosmopolitan and leave to rare residences to retire. Defense counsel pointed out that court, court has a latitude under section 75 of the Magistrates Court Act to release the applicant on bail with or without sureties. However, Council had the chance to do so under the same provision of the law, but chose not to move court on the same, very well knowing that he ought to have moved court on the bail application without sureties, or even for court to release their applicant on his own recognizance. Council knew that court does not issue orders on its own motion, so, he ought to have explored all these provisions of the law on the 29th of April, 2019. Important to note is that under Article 126.2e of the Constitution, 1995, it is provided that substantial justice shall be administered without undue regard to technicalities. Rule 5 of the Judicature Visual Audio Link Rules 2016 is to the effect that court may hear a case by visual audio link for security reasons, for security reasons and safety reasons of the applicant and the witnesses. From the above, this court has inherent powers to make such orders as may be necessary for the ends of justice or to prevent the abuse of the process of court under section 98 of the PCA. In the premise, therefore, this court has not flowed the process under rule six of the judicature Visual Audio Link Rules 2016, as pointed out by Defense Council. Having stated the above, <coughs> having stated the above, I find the having stated the above, I find the surety substantial. I find the surety substantial and therefore release the accused person or the applicant on the following grounds. The applicant is bonded at 1 million shillings cash. Each surety is bonded at 10 million shillings, not cash. The applicant is barred from engaging in unlawful demonstration unlawful demonstrations. In the event that this condition is breached, it shall lead to 
automatic claps of his bail. <laughs> this case had earlier on been fixed for hearing since inquiries were complete and in the premise it is hereby ordered that the prosecution does disclose fully to the defense in respect to A5. In this regard, this case is adjourned to adjourned to the 23rd of May at 9 a.m. for hearing. The date of 23rd cannot be changed. We do have other accused persons appearing before this same court in the same matter. They were in court at the last, uh, the last court sitting and the case was adjourned to the 23rd of May. So let it be kept at that.